Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. This time I'm going to show you how to bake holograms. Alright guys, so we're back again. I know it's been a little, maybe like a week since I've made a Spigot video in the Spigot series. But we're back again, we're going to show you how to make holograms. And it's going to be a short episode because it's really, really simple to make holograms. But uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it so we can uh, show you. So anyway, um, to make a hologram, of course, we're going to... Uh, in this case, we're just going to demonstrate it with a command. So we're going to use a command to make the hologram, to spawn one. So we're going to make a command here. Uh, let's not make a package because that's just too much work, you know. We're just making a simple example program, so there's no point doing all of that anyway. So, all right, so we're going to call our class, um, we'll call it hologram command. Pretty simple stuff, right? Of course, we need to implement uh, command executor. Command executor, there we go. So that's going to do that for us. Then we need to implement the on command method here. All right, cool. So we're going to return true so that we don't get it, the uh, command repeated back to us every time we run the command. That's what that is for, basically. Um, so now let's make it so we can check and see who run the, ran the command, of course. So if sender instance of player. So if the player is executing the command, then we could go ahead and... Uh, continue working with the command import that and so the first thing we want to do if we if they reg I mean uh, you know run this command is we want to generate and spawn a hologram right so to make a hologram I don't know if I said this already I might have we use armor stands so we need to make an armor stand hologram somehow okay so what we're gonna do here is make a regular armor stand okay so let's do that so armor stand we'll just call it hologram is equal to new um, or not new because you have to spawn a entity which is a you know armor stand is an entity you have to spawn it a certain way right and if you remember we can spawn a entity with a reference to player or we can just use the world but whatever so we're gonna make a player thing here is what I mean to say a player reference so player player is equal to player cinder and if you have no idea what I'm doing here with the armor stands I would recommend you go back to my armor stand video in this spigot series so make sure you check all that out if you haven't already so we're going to do player dot get world dot spawn entity so we can spawn entity in that world and then uh, for the location we can simply do player dot get location and then entity type will be an armor stand so entity armor stand just like that oh I forgot to tell you as you can see here instead of entity like we might do usually like right here we did armor stand okay because we're going to create an armor stand reference so basically the why we want to use armor stand object instead of entity object well if you know already armor stands have certain methods that are available only to armor stands so you want to make sure you use an armor stand uh you know object instead of an entity object okay we already know that if you've watched my other episodes but just in case you forgot but anyway so as you can see here we have a little bit of an error it's an incompatible type on the right side we have a entity um being returned but on the left side of course we have the armor stand object um, so what we need to do here is cast the right side to armor stand. Pretty simple stuff. And I accidentally got rid of player, so I'll put it back there. And so the reason, of course, that we can cast it so simply is because an entity or an armor stand pretty much is an entity, so it can be easily casted. Okay. Anyway, we already know all that. So what we've done here is make uh, we just made an armor stand, right? And we spawned it pretty much. So now, how do we make it into a hologram, right? All you got to do is set it to be invisible and also give it a custom name. Because if you think about it. If you ever seen holograms inside, you know, a Minecraft server, I'll put a screenshot up on the screen, but if you've ever seen a hologram like this, you can see that it's just basically a name tag, right, with colors in it sometimes, right? So the trick is, is that you get a, you spawn an armor stand, and then you make the armor stand invisible, and then give it a custom name, which is going to be the name that you see the hologram itself, okay? So that's the trick to make holograms. It's actually really, really simple compared to what you might think is behind the scenes. So yeah, what we're going to do here is do hologram.setVisible. So set visible to false, so it's not going to be visible to the, to the player. And then now we can give a custom name. So hologram dot set custom name. Um, we also well, there's two things. We can set the custom name itself, which we're going to do in a second. But we also need to make the custom name visible. So make sure that it can have a custom name. So so we're going to do that. So we'll do hologram dot set custom name. And then now we can set the name. And of course we can use colors. So we'll try doing this. So chat color red. And we could simply say hologram like that. And let's import chat color, of course, from from a bucket. So that's going to do all of that for us. We're basically going to spawn a armor stand, set it to be invisible, so it's only the name that shows up. But to get the name itself, we need to set the custom name visible to e uh, equal to true, and then also give it a custom name, obviously, right? So that's going to do all of that for us. So let's test it out. But first, we need to register the command in our main method, also in the plugin.yml. So first, we're going to do the main method. So git command, 
and we're going to do a hologram and then we need to set executor new hologram command pretty simple stuff as you can see here um, so yeah now we need to register in our plugin.yml so we'll go down here and we'll do commands and now we can say hologram description uh, spawns a hologram all very simple we've already done this millions of times by now just make sure you watch my other videos so anyway now I'm gonna compile this by opening maven here and then click the run button here okay so now it's gonna compile it and then I'll put it into a target folder that's about to generate so it's gonna do all that for us in a second so we can just wait while this compiles and it's gonna make a target folder like I said and any second now any second now any second now and there we go so now we have this target folder now we can open this right click and then do show in explorer so it's going to open up your file explorer so you can actually find the file and now we can go here copy the file then go to your server and then paste it into your plugins uh folder inside of your spigot server okay and my server is already uh already running so i'm gonna go to the server right oops not this server i'm gonna go to our localhost server which i'm going to use to run the plugin and then i'm going to reload it because since the server was already running while i um added the command to the plugins folder um you know i have to uh, reload it manually now okay all right so we're on the server now so i'm going to do slash reload so i uh, reload the plugin inside the server and now it says reload complete so i can do slash pl and it says uh holograms which is the name of our plugin of course right so let's test it out right so we're going to spawn, uh, spawn a hologram so we're going to do slash hologram and let's see what happens and so we get a hologram right here, right? As you can see, it fell because, of course, armor stands have gravity, right? So what we need to do here, if you want to, I'm sure you want to because it's a hologram. We want to set the gravity, set hologram dot set gravity to false, so the armor stand will not have gravity on it. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Oop, didn't mean to do that. But anyway, so we can go back here. But as you can see here, we have hologram, right? It's invisible. Pretty cool. Uh, now we have the custom name tag here, so it works perfectly, right? So that's awesome, right? So we can set the gravity to false, which we've already done now. So we, it won't fall anymore. But yeah, that pretty much works, right? So the next thing we could do, if you just want to play around with it, is change the like the location of where you want to spawn it, right? So how do we make it, um, how do we choose the location of where we're going to spawn the hologram, right? Because if we do it now, it's pretty much just going to spawn on our head. But let's control where we want it to spawn, okay? So to do that, we can go back here. And as you can see here, whenever we spawn the original entity, which is the armor stand itself, we get to choose the location here, okay? So let's say we want to change the location. So I'll go ahead and show you how to edit this location so you can choose where you want to spawn the hologram. So what we can do here is do dot add, and we could add on values for this get location. So we could do X, Y, and Z. So we could add an X value, which is going to be, let's open up, press F3 to see your details. So F3 shows us our X, Y, Z currently. So 168 by 69 by negative 2022. So our Y right here, X, Y, Z, this is going to be our Y, is 69 currently. But as we go up and down, it's going to go up and down itself. Okay, so our Y is going to be our corresponding up and down value, right? And then your X and Z values are going to be your values that correspond to side to side, right? So Y is pretty simple because it's simply up and down, but X and Z are a little different because they go side to side. Um, it's a little different to figure out which one is which in terms of whenever you're programming because um, we can't, you know, see live what's happening. But basically... Um, if we go this way right now, the as you can see here, the Z is changing if we go this way. But if we go this way, the X will start changing, right? So that's pretty cool. But we don't even need to work with the X and Z values anyway, right? Because we just want to change the height for now. I mean, you can change the X and Z values if you want to choose like a, a different location. But we're just going to change the height, okay? So 0, and then we want to change the Y value now. So we can uh, make it... Uh, let's go up for let's go up by 50 for example so we can just test it out so we'll go up by 50 and then the last one's going to be zero because we're not going to change the z value okay so we're going to test that out now okay all right we're going to test it out now so i'm going to do slash hologram and we get a hologram way up here because of course we did plus 50 so it's going to be the player's location his z value plus 50 so 50 z values above me so there we go we get our hologram and it doesn't fall anymore because there's no longer any gravity pretty cool stuff right awesome so let's say we want to have multiple lines in our program, right? Like multiple lines um, in our hologram, right? Because sometimes you've seen holograms with multiple lines in it. So how do we do that? Well, you might have an idea. I mean, you basically all we need to do is spawn multiple armor stands on top of each other with different Y values, of course. Because let's say we spawn the first one directly on the player's head like we did before. Okay, that's fine. But if we want to have another line, we want to spawn it basically a little bit under the first line, basically, okay? Because that's how lines work, of course. You know, they're stacked on top of each other. So we need to figure that out, okay? So we need to spawn multiple holograms on top of each other, right? So let's try all that out. It's better to show you, okay? 
So we'll just get rid of this extra value that we added here. So basically the first one's going to spawn directly on the player's head, so that's fine. So we're going to make another hologram, which is going to be our second line. So second line. And so we're going to do armor stand hologram 2 is equal to, we're going to cast armor stand. And we're going to do player.getWorld spawn entity player.get location and then we're going to add some values here so zero 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 and we're going to change the y here so let's say we want to go under the first hologram okay we're going to need to go by negative value right because the negative means down of course in terms of you know adding negative onto a positive number it's going to change the y to go down basically pretty simple stuff but anyway so let's do negative 0 0.5 and see how much that goes down okay so basically what I'm trying to say here is the second hologram is going to be negative 0.5, you know, Y values or however, whatever, whatever the unit is. I'm not sure what the unit is, but it's going to be negative 0.5 Y values under the um, the first one, right? Because the first one's going to be simply the player's location, but this one's going to be 0.5 under the player's location, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, so now we're going to specify, you know, the entity itself. So entity armor stand, pretty simple stuff. So that's that. So now we need to add some values here, of course, in terms of, you know, the hologram name and all that. So we'll just copy this here. And we'll just do that. And of course, we can just change all this to two. And now we can say line two. And we'll set the color to something different so we can, you know, tell the difference and all that. We'll do aqua. That's fine. And that should be it. So let's try all that out. All right. So we're testing this out now. So it's reloading. Now it's reloaded. So we can do slash hologram. And boom, look what we got here. We got a hologram, and then there's a second line right under it, of course, because we specified it to be negative 0.5 under the first one, right? So that's pretty awesome, right? Now we can specify how many lines we want. If we want to add a line on top, we can simply do plus 0.5 or how, however much of that number you want to do, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully you understand that. It's pretty simple stuff once you get the hang of it. It's a really simple concept. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you do that. That's how you make holograms. So next episode, I think we're going to go over how to use an API, maybe something different. I haven't decided completely yet what we're going to do next episode, but stay tuned. And if you have any ideas of what you want to do for next episode or any other episode, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about what we, what we did today, you can uh, ask a question in the comment section. I'll be glad to help you. Or we have a Discord link in the description too if you want to check out our Discord, hang out with us, ask questions, leave comments, suggestions, whatever you want to do join it and uh, yeah so one more thing is we have a link in the description for all of the code from today's episode so make sure you check it out it's going to be there for you if you can if you want to save it for future reference because you know sometimes you forget things and stuff like that so make sure you do all that blah 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 so uh, yeah if you like this video leave a like if you need to see more subscribe and peace